I would like to bring to the stage in just a moment Wendy and Byron Rowe. And uh, each day is an adventure. It's a husband and wife team. And they spent the last few years delving into the interesting of working, eating, breathing, sleeping. I knew that part. And playing together as they've continued to grow their wedding photography business. Uh, they love to travel. They love to shoot cultures and many, many things, especially people. And as hard as it may seem, working with your spouse in total harmony is possible, especially when you can road bike through France, which they've done together, and survive. So welcome to the stage, Wendy and Byron, how to work together. Hi, I'm Wendy Rowe, and I'm a straight and narrow kind of gal. I'm the kind of gal that taught aerobics at 16 to 40-year-olds. This is my life plan. I go from things just like from A to Z, just like a bullet. So this is my life plan. I'm Byron. I'm the in-the-moment emotional artist. I hated coloring in the lines. Structure scares me. And, but our garage looks fantastic. We're a husband and wife team, and we're here to give you some helpful tips through some hard-learned lessons. Very hard. About working together as a husband and wife team. Believe me, our friends thought we were nuts. So when I started the business, I didn't have to answer to anyone. I was riding on a high of emotion and inspiration daily. And then I came on board. I turned everything upside down. All of a sudden, there were two people calling the shots. Now we eat together. Work together. Live together. Work together. Sleep together. Work together. We do everything, everything together. together. There's this grand illusion that when you work with your partner that everything is great from the start. You have vacations together, <laughs> have lots of flexibility. It all sounded so romantic, but in reality, we're textbooks of opposites attract. Fantastic in so many ways outside of the business. But in the business, oh, I tell you, it's just <laughs> scary. <laughs> so, well, what, the first thing we decided was that all businesses, including our own, need to appoint a CEO. One person needs to be the the person to make all the final big decisions. I was actually, come on, all right, okay, it's good now. Once we assigned a CEO, we still found we were looking over each other's shoulders. So <laughs> we decided it was important to choose our roles, group them, and then officially sign off on them. Efficiency went up. Pissed, Pissed off, off spouses, spouses went, went down. down. So we live in a world of systems. And to make our life easier, we created a step-by-step -step outline for each of our work procedure, like answering a new client lead. Now, when disaster strikes, we don't, get, we don't blame each other, no. We get to blame the system. So who's ever in charge of that work procedure gets to own it and fix it. Let's talk about leadership. Leadership is about focusing on the big focusing on the big picture. It's the CEO's job to create a positive company culture. And believe me, when it's your spouse, you have to be a thousand times more respectful. <laughs> Another thing that's important is to foster creative ideas with your partner. Believe me, when Byron has the idea to set a bride's dress on fire, I try and see the safe possibilities in that. And there's no wrong ways for creative brainstorming. So here's an idea, get a neutral third party as a mentor, a coach, a referee. Ours is Michael Corzantino and George is Michael. here to say thank you for putting up with our <laughs> bullshit and showing us some clarity. One of the things that Michael taught us was that we needed to focus more on our company's big picture. That we're entrepreneurs, not workhorses. So what we just did was figured out what we sucked at and what we love, and then we either outsourced Here's another thorn in our side. We have created a technology-free bedroom. The only exception is the iPad on the toilet. We're addicted to shop talk 24-7. One way to gain balance is we schedule times to be together. Uh, you know, it's just fantastic, but, you know. <laughs> Scheduling times outside of the business, hanging out with friends is a good thing. <laughs> Another thing, for you creatives out there, structure is good. Structure actually allows you to be more creative. Use your calendar, block out areas of time, and you'll be able to accomplish more than you ever thought. So, another benefit 
<laughs> uh, inspire, inspire your partner by strongly encouraging them to get into sports. Get a hobby. Read a good book. Get out of the frickin' house, people. Another benefit of working with your spouse is lunch breaks. It's important to keep the positive mojo alive and well. So, thank you so much for listening. It was a pleasure to be here today. And just remember that when all else fails, turn to your partner and say, You're, you're right. right. I'm, I'm wrong. wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Lunch, lunch break! break. <laughs> thank you.